How come you're bigger than me all of a sudden? I'm stood on the hill again. <sighs> Good morning. Morning. Or oh, Mitten Da. Who? Mitten Da. Somebody on YouTube told me to say Mitten Da. Apparently it's Good Morning in Cornish. Cornish? Yeah. Is that a lot of pasty? See, I knew, <laughs> I knew when I said it that he would relate it to Cornish pasties. I, just, I know what you like. Food. Uh, welcome to a blowy Lowsonford. It's done nothing but rain for the last kind of 36 hours. Go. Well, it has, hasn't it? Oh, it started raining last night. It didn't. It rained all yesterday <laughs> afternoon. Oh, yeah, it did. I was asleep. <laughs> so, yeah, welcome to a blowy Lowsonford. Uh, today, we're leaving. And it's a bit sad, really. I like it here. It is really nice. The internet's not very good. The TV signal's not very good. It's very muddy towpath after it's been raining. Uh, but it's just, I don't know, there's something about this place that I really like. It's probably the pub. <laughs> but we are sad to be leaving. But we've got to go today. We've got to get to our next destination in three days. I nearly said we've got to get to so-and-so in three days. But they don't know where we're Cardiff. going. Cardiff. Yeah, Cardiff. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going back up the Stratford Upon Avon Canal towards Kingswood Junction today. We're going to get some water there and then we've got a decision to make. Do we do a sneaky kind of left and go back up the North Stratford towards Birmingham? Oh, I like Birmingham. Oh, we know you like Birmingham. <laughs> do we do a crafty little leap over onto the Grand Union and go north towards Birmingham? Oh, I like Birmingham. <laughs> or do we do a sly right turn and kind of come back down west? And go towards east, nearly east. <laughs> east, just the opposite, southeast towards Warwick and Leamington Spa. Oh, I like Leamington on Spa. You'll find out today. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a horse, what would you call it? Ned. You'd call it Ned. There was a poet, an English poet and playwright, about a hundred years ago, called Ernest Temple Thurston. The only reason I remember that is because of Thurston's Bakery, because <laughs> they do a nice finger. <laughs> Iced finger. <laughs> you remember oh, iced fingers? Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> what? Nothing. And he, he he was from not round here, uh, but he came here for a narrowboat holiday a hundred years ago. And they didn't have diesel engines then, so in those days you kind of pick your narrowboat and pick your horse. All right. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. if you go to crazy golf, you don't just like hire the course; you hire a bat as well to go with it. Yeah. Uh, and and he got a horse called Fanny. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's true. Google it. Honestly, Google it. Stop. Oh, you so did. Gotta stop this. So he, no, <laughs> you just don't gotta go. It's history. I'm not making this up. So he got he got a narrowboat and a horse called Fanny, and they had a lovely time on the <laughs> Stratford Upon Avon Canal a hundred years ago. Google it, people. God. Uh, we are talking quick because there's a boat, a couple of boats behind us, who's kind of itching to get off the same way we're going. Yeah. But we've got ten locks between here and Kingswood Junction. And we don't want them all set against us. No, so we're off. Ta-ta. Bye. got up this morning and there's these little footprints that run all the way down the side of the boat. There's Sean's. Uh, but yeah, some things got on the boat last night and just walked all the way from the stern right down to the bow and then jumped off again. Remember that tree that was leaning at a funny angle across the canal before we left last time? Well, it came down all the way while we've been in Stratford and even though it doesn't look like it's blocking the canal, there's some big branches just underneath the water and that's stopping boats from passing. But literally, the morning after we contacted CRT, the contractors arrived and they spent all day clearing it. They must have had hundreds to clear this last few weeks though. As much as it's been a really mild winter, it has been very wet and I definitely <laughs> won't miss these muddy towpaths when the summer comes. That's if we get a nice dry warm summer, you never know these days.
Walk 26, five done, five to go. And that was the M40. Noisy. Hence I'm shouting, I shouldn't have to shout. <laughs> I bet Ernest and Fanny didn't have to put up with that noise in 1900. Stop it, I'm going. We're back at Kingswood Junction three weeks before we first arrived. Oh, it's getting too much for me as well. <laughs> train! Lots of trains. There is. But it's like a row of trees inconveniently grown over like 80 years between us and that. So they're in the way. Last time you saw Kingswood Junction, we'd, ju ju <laughs> we'd come from the North Stratford Canal from Birmingham. We did. And we kind of did that. That? But today we're going to do that. Notice the teeth come out as well. <laughs> We've got, we're, we're like in a basin uh, just below the lock uh, which takes us up onto the North Stratford. But we're going to do a sneaky curve right. It's and a it, sharp right. It's a very sharp right into a very narrow little channel that links the Stratford upon Avon Canal to the Grand Union Canal. And that's where we're going. We're going to head east on the Grand Union towards Warwick, Leamington Spa, Napton Junction and on towards Braunston. I never thought I'd hear myself say Braunston. You just told them where we're going. No, towards. Towards. <laughs> All right. I don't know. We're not going to Braunston. Well, we're going towards Braunston. So anyway, here's the challenge. I'm going to go and hide under a tree and control the drone while Sean loses his temper trying to navigate this kind of basin into the channel and onto the Grand Union. The channel used to be a lock. Even though the drone's going to be like 300 feet high, you should be able to hear him swear if you listen hard enough. <laughs> Good luck, my little soldier. Good luck. <laughs> Stratford. <laughs> oh, I always find it sad when we leave a canal, don't you? Uh. And get a new one. Uh, so we're on the very blowy Grand Union. Uh, we're debating whether to stop or not. Well, I am. I just want a cup of tea. I know. Uh, but it's getting very blowy and I don't like it when it gets blowy. Uh, but anyway, we're on the Grand Union, heading kind of south east at Sa the moment. Nothing wrong with that. Oh. Uh, to, ooh, towards Warwick. Yeah! Oh, we're going to sing one of her songs, but I don't know. 
Da 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 da. So all along the Stratford upon Avon Canal, you saw those uh, barrel-roofed cottages. You remember them? I the do. The white ones. They were quite nice as well. Pretty. And here's a little tidbit of information that you might not know. The design for those barrel roof cottages comes from these bridges. Really? The people that built the canal used the same timber frame for these brick bridges as they did for the roofs on the barrel roof block cottages. Ooh. That's why if you look, they look exactly the same. Yeah, they do. This is Rowington Cutting. It should have been Rowington Tunnel. It should have been a 700 meter long tunnel. Can you hear the wind above us? It's really windy. It's nice and sheltered down here. And it's warm, isn't it, as well? It is warm, yes. It's about 16 degrees. It's about lunchtime, 16 degrees. It's the warmest day it's been so far. We've just got like a fleece on and his, and his jacket. The jacket What's that just saying? The wind off. Like fur coat and no knickers. I've got knickers on. No, that's a saying, isn't it? <laughs> I remember when I were a kid and we used to say, we have to see me Auntie Pat. No, she's all, it's just fur coat and no knickers, is that woman. I don't know what that means. Anyway, so it's a cutting and not a tunnel. And the first bloke that they got in to build it was called Robert Pinkerton. Is that him off a of Breaking Bad? Pink, oh, it's Pinkman, Jesse Pinkman, isn't it? You know, the little scrawny one with the... Yes, I know what you mean. Uh, and he was thrown off the job because he was bribing the canal company for the tender. Greedy. So he got kicked off. And then it kicked off again because the bloke who owns a load of land round here... What? <laughs> I'm trying to be serious here and you're mocking me. <laughs> trying to do my job and I don't even get paid for it. Hello. Uh, the bloke that owned most of the land around it, just because I'm interested. I know you are. The bloke that owned most of that, that's four times I've said that. He came to the canal company and said, hang on a minute, if you're digging a tunnel or a cutting or whatever it is you're doing, the stone belongs to me. What does he want with like 700 meters of stone? Why don't you just let him have it? Anyway, the canal company wanted the stone for the embankment that ah. comes after the next bridge. Ah. So they were in a bit of a quandary. Did quandaries exist in late 1700s? I don't know. <laughs> so they had to bug him 500 quid, which is like 90,000 pounds. I worked that out. Did you? Myself, a piece of paper. You converted it? I converted it. Can you convert the money in our bank? Uh, nope. <laughs> and they ended up bugging him 500 quid, 90 grand to keep his mouth shut. Wow. All for a cutting. That were a lot of money back then. It's a lot of money now. I know. That was Bridge 62, Rowington Hill Bridge. And it's like the transition from Rowington Cutting to Rowington Embankment. So we've gone from a cutting to an embankment. And that's why they had to bum Matt LeBlanc's elder uncle, yeah. Thomas, the 500 quid, because they wanted the stone to build this embankment. Just pile it up here. Ah, but why didn't they? This is a question and he doesn't know about this. He's not been pre-warned. You never pre warned This me. wasn't in the production meeting last <laughs> night, was it? <laughs> why didn't they, instead of building embankments, why didn't they just do a couple of locks down, go across, and then a couple of locks back up? Because you can't do that, because it's got to be a flow. It does all flow down into one. Exactly! It's not as thick as it looks, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, you go. So that's why they built embankments, even though it was a bigger job at the time, than just building a couple of locks going along and a couple of locks back up. That would have wasted a lot of water because the water from both sides would come down the locks. And then where's it gonna go? Flood! It'd either flood or just drain off somewhere. And water back in those days was like an expensive commodity. You can't just be wasting it. And not only that, but it takes a lot of boaters time up going down two locks and then back up two locks. So by building the embankment, even though it's a bigger job back in the day, it makes it easier for us.
Rowington Tunnel ended up being a cutting, but Shrewley Tunnel ended up being one and a little bit tunnels. <laughs> 396 metres long. Originally, the designer was William Felkin. Felkin? Felkin. I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> but he got thrown off the job as well because he built an aqueduct and it collapsed. So, like, you're not building our tunnel, mate. Too you're building right. collapsing aqueducts. Too right. Uh, so, they got somebody else in to build this one, 396 metres long. And it's a bit weird because it's a double one. It was meant to be a single one for narrow boats. But when they found out the Grand Union was going all the way to London, the committee got together and thought, aye, aye, this is going to be a bit busy, wider boats, we better build it a bit wider. So they built it wider, but not wide enough for a towpath. So they built a separate little tunnel, so the horses would go up this ramp at the side of the canal, under a little tunnel, up into Shrewley Village, over the road, and then back down the other side. So that was cheaper than building a separate tunnel all the way through for the horses or for a towpath. But when the railways came a few years later, they followed the same route but they just built a bit cutting. And then a few hundred yards to the right hand side of that, when the motorways came a few years after that, they built a cutting as well. So this is the only one that's still a tunnel. And apparently, it's, it's a very wet, wet one. So we're going to have to put the waterproofs on. Port side. Port. Or your right hand side. Are you clever? Is the Mid Warwickshire Yacht Club. Or is it? They've got a hut and it looks like one of these like nudist camp huts. I don't know what you're laughing for. <laughs> it does, honestly, there's all these boats and then there's like a hut. But all you can see in the hut, in the windows, is like people's heads from there up. That's a clue. And the man walking outside with nothing on, that were another clue. No, though, he it? did not. It's warm enough today for it, I tell you. No, it's not. We're on the Grand Union, we're moored just after bridge 55, uh, a couple of hundred metres away from the top of the Hatton flight of locks, which is going to take us down towards Warwick. Oh, I like Warwick. Not today though. <laughs> I need to go and have pizza and a sit down. Now I know why, like people, like when you pass 50 and that, go, oh my feet. <laughs> That's me today. Oh, my feet, my poor feet. Uh, if you've enjoyed the vlog, please give it a thumbs up for us. Even better, please subscribe to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you want notifications of new videos, hit the notifications bell. Uh, leave any comments or questions for us. We try to answer every single one of them. And if you'd like to support the channel, two ways you can do it. One is you can become a member and there's a join button on the home screen. And the second way is to join us on Patreon. There's a link in the top corner if you'd like to join us that way too. Ooh. Pizza time. Yeah? Come Why on. not? We'll see you next time. See you later. Bye. Bye. Am I in shot? No. <laughs> <laughs> so we're... In... <laughs> <laughs> Step back. Uh, next stop is... I've forgotten. Check so your book. We'll edit that out. 
He's holding a tiller. It might look like his hand's somewhere else, but he's holding the tiller. <laughs> Echo. <laughs> Blow it. Blow it. And we can't use that. <laughs> Why do you keep laughing when I say that? Oh, yeah. Take three. <laughs> Take four. <laughs> Tell me when you've finished. I'm done.